This video shows the machining of a Wedge 5 DC stainless steel trumpet mouthpiece. The first step in the process is to center the mouthpiece in the mill using a test dial indicator. The initial cut is made with a uh, 1 quarter inch carbide two flute ball nose end mill using flood coolant. Uh, the coolant has been turned off here temporarily just in order to show the tool working. Again here the coolant is turned off and you can begin to see the shape of the cup and the sloping shoulders of the wedge rim emerging. Uh, this is the second cut. The second or finishing cut is made with a 1 8 inch two flute ball nose end mill again with uh, flood coolant. The step over rate on the initial cut which leaves about ten thousandths of an inch of material on the blank is three thousandths of an inch and that's about the thickness of a sheet of paper. The step over on the finishing cut using the one eighth inch ball nose mill is two thousandths of an inch and that is in order to produce a nice smooth finish on the metal which requires minimal final polishing before it's ready to be used. The problem with using a small step over with stainless steel is that stainless steel actually hardens as you cut it and so if the step over rates are too small the metal hardens and the machine has more difficulty cutting and producing a nice surface. Again you can see the sloping shoulder of the mouthpiece emerging. That sloping shoulder is one of the key components of the wedge mouthpiece and is the reason why these mouthpieces cannot be made with a conventional lathe. They have to be first turned in a lathe and then the wedge rim is machined with a CNC mill in order to produce that uh, complex curve. The total cut time on this mouthpiece is about an hour. Uh, cut times on brass mouthpieces are less because I use the same step over but the feed rate is uh, somewhat faster with brass. You can see here now the uh, final room contour is really beginning to take shape. And uh, there's the uh, finished uh, product after milling. You can see some tool marks on the lower edge and those will be removed in the next step when the mouthpiece goes back in the lathe to have that corner taken off. This is the corner being removed and then it will be smoothed with a file and then uh, sandpaper is used, uh, an emery cloth actually, in order to produce an intermediate surface. This surface is not the final surface uh, on which the player will play, but it provides an intermediate surface which prepares a mouthpiece for final polishing. Now this mouthpiece gets The mouthpiece then goes back into the mill, into the fourth axis, and the mouthpiece is rotated in the A axis while the cutting tool uh, moves in the X axis. 
and also up and down on the z-axis and this will produce a nice finished uh, engraving on the mouthpiece I don't use flood cooling here but I uh, spray on or rather paint on some lubricant that produces a nice uh, a nice finished product now this mouthpiece will uh, come off the fourth axis go for final polishing and then be inspected play tested and then off to the customer That's a wedge 5DC stainless steel mouthpiece.